For many years, there has been a trend away from the deployment of track vehicles to a more mixed fleet of tracked and wheeled vehicles, and China is not going to be left behind. For many years, they've deployed a 6x6 vehicle called a WZ551. The latest version shown here is a VN2B. This is quite different. It's not an armoured personnel carrier. It's an infantry fighting vehicle, and on the top you can see the uh, turret with a 30mm cannon, and on the back, you can see the uh, ramp and the seats to allow the dismounts to rapidly leave the vehicle. A key feature of it, it is also fully amphibious, being in, propelled in the water by two propellers at the, work, at the rear. Standard equipment includes a central tire inflation system and powered steering on the front two axles. Moving up to the scale, they've more recently developed the VP-10. There is a growing trend towards the development and fielding of 8x8 vehicles. They have a more volume, more payload and often more protection. This particular vehicle is fit to the remote weapon station. But another Chinese 8x8 is this new one, which is a really a tank destroyer. It's fitted with a turret armed with a 105mm rifle gun, you see the fume extractor and the muzzle brake. It is also fully amphibious and before it enters the water, a trim vane is erected at the front of the hull. When afloat, it is powered by the two propellers at the rear. This vehicle will typically be used in the reconnaissance and anti-tank role, and China has also developed a 105mm laser-guided projectile, which can also probably be fired by this weapon. The laser projectile has a range of probably up to 5,000 metres and is fitted with a tandem high-explosive warhead. So China is moving towards a complete family of not only 6x6 vehicles, but also 8x8. Many of the earlier WZ551s have been sold in large numbers all over the world. For example, uh, Oman has them, the Chinese army have them, and many countries in Africa have recently procured these vehicles because they are low cost and simple to operate and maintain.